The primary problem with the X-Men is gently brought up in Spider-Man No Way Home. Marvel Comics has always seen its stories taking place in the world outside your window, as Stan Lee put it, albeit one filled with gods, monsters, aliens, and mutants. In the MCU's shared world, Spider-Man is the only Avenger who has ever been a teenager. This has given his solo movie a distinct flavor inside the MCU, but it has also raised fundamental ethical problems about whether the Avengers should allow Spider-Man to participate in their heroic battles. War Machine picked up on this quickly in Captain America Civil War, with Tony Stark shrugging aside the topic of Spider-Age. Marvel recovered the cinematic rights to the X-Men after Disney purchased the majority of Fox's film and television company. It's just a matter of time until the X-Men, including its founder Charles Xavier, join the MCU. In the comics, Charles Xavier is a man who established his school for gifted youngsters, where he taught young mutants how to harness their talents, which were normally awakened during puberty. Xavier didn't simply educate them how to utilize their powers safely, he also taught them how to fight, preparing them in a danger room and sending them on field operations against formidable foes like Magneto. If Marvel Studios wants to create an X-Men tale that is even somewhat true to the comic books, the answer to Agent Cleary's query is simple Charles Xavier. This question was never actually addressed in any of Fox's films. Although Professor X oversaw a school, the great majority of the X-Men who experienced genuine warfare were adults in the first X-Men movie. In X-Men First Class, Fox took a step back in the X-Men history, presenting a younger edition of the team, but they never truly considered the repercussions. The MCU, on the other hand, will very certainly be unable to avoid confronting this issue due to its higher level of self-awareness. After all, Charles Xavier is reinterpreted for the audience as soon as the question is addressed, he is no simple dreamer, a visionary who longs for peace between man and mutant. There's a dark side to him, as seen by his readiness to send adolescents to war. At the very least, it indicates a pragmatism in him that suggests he recognizes that, no matter how hard he tries, mutants will never find peace or acceptance. Because of the MCU's real-world orientation, inquiries like these are prevalent. The problems are frequently raised but no solutions are supplied, like in Spider-Man No Way Home, simply because addressing them would cause too much upheaval. However, with this Charles Xavier being far darker than those depicted by Patrick Stewart and James McAvoy, Marvel may make this the key to the MCU's version of the X-Men. The comics have been taking this approach since the 1990s, and Marvel Studios' X-Men were able to set themselves apart from their big-screen predecessors by embracing gloom from the start.